Good morning, everyone. It's Miss Amy from Camden Public Library, and uh, it is May. Uh, it's May 16th, uh, but May is Mental Health Awareness Month. Uh, and um, so I want to share some picture books for kids out there that deal with all different types of of mental illness and um, and mental health. So, this one is called Little Rabbit and the Nightmare by Kate and M. Sarah uh, Cleese. And this is a story about a worry. Um, the little rabbit character is getting ready for uh, a big uh, test at school and is super, super worried and then ends up having um, uh, an issue with a nightmare. So, sleep issues, stress, worry. Uh, this is a great book for bedtime issues. This one is called The Magical Yet uh, by Angela Dutrelizzi and art by Lorena Alvarez. And this is a story about someone who doesn't have, um, hasn't gained their confidence yet. Um, ah, the magical yet. Um, so this is all about, well, you can't do it. I can't do it. I don't know how to do it or whatever. And then you have a yet who is with you, a magical yet, who is with you all the time. And just because you can't do it now, doesn't mean that you can't do it later, or you can't do it another time, or that you have to practice or work at it to get there. But just because you can't do it, doesn't mean you won't be able to do it yet great message. This one is all about feelings. Uh, today I feel silly and other moods that make my day by Jamie Lee Curtis and illustrated by Laura Cornell. And this is all about sharing how we feel and acknowledging all sorts of problems and feelings and all that. So, uh, this one by Dr. Seuss, My Many Colored Days, um, illustrated by, or written by Dr. Seuss, but illustrated by Steve uh, Johnson and Lou Fanter. Uh, and this story is all about um, acknowledging, um, acknowledging feelings and showing feelings and that it's okay to have different feelings and that sometimes we get all the different feelings and that's okay and it's totally normal. Um, this one is red. This is a crayon story by Michael Hall. This is all about being who you are and finding your own identity. This is about a blue crayon who's in a red paper and everyone is telling him uh, that he needs to be more red, uh, but he can't because he's a blue crayon in red. So, um, you know, he, he's kind of being broken down until someone comes along and sees him for who, sees the crayon for who he, he is and um, gives him the confidence and the acknowledgement to say, be you, just be you. So love, love this story for kids all over that are working on their identity and being confident in who they are. Um, uh, this one is What I Like About Me. And this is um, illustrated by Mickey Sokomato and written by uh, Aaliyah Zobel Nolan. And this story is just all about all the different things that different kids like about themselves and how everyone is the same and yet super different. So all about being you again and being confident in who you are. This one, Mean Soup Betsy, by Betsy Everett. This is a great 
one for kids all about being angry and how to deal, you know, what is different strategies for dealing with anger um, and how you feel and that it's okay sometimes to have an angry day, you know, because we all do, even moms and dads and kids, kids and teachers and librarians. Uh, this one is Back to Front and Upside Down by Claire Alexander. This is about a little uh, student who is, his letters are all jumbled up when he writes them. And he's, so he's struggling a little at school and he's afraid to ask for help because he's stressed and worried that the kids will tease him. And so he's worried and he uh, discovers when he finally does get the confidence to um, ask for help that uh, with help and practice and uh, working hard that you can get there. So yeah, really good one. And that it's okay to ask for help. This great message. Um, and these are just a few things uh, and di very different, uh, you know, mental health issues all over. Uh, this one is uh, What Do You Do With a Problem? Written by Kobe Yamada and illustrated by Mae Besson. Um, and this is all about worry and how you might deal with it and that everybody gets worried sometimes and how sometimes a worry can just keep getting bigger and bigger if you don't talk about it or share uh, it or ask for help. So yeah, what do you do with a problem? Um, yeah, so I hope that you will check some of these great stories out. I know you can't see them, but check them out at your local library. Mental health uh, and mental health awareness is really important. No matter what age our kids are, uh, no matter how big we get, we need to make sure that we are focused and grounded and have um, support and someone to talk to whether it's your friend or mom and dad or a neighbor or a teacher or whoever. Um, or maybe you find yourself or you can see yourself in a book or your child can see themselves in a story. Um, yeah, so it's Mental Health Awareness Month. Hugs, happy reading. Please check some of these books out. They really are wonderful, and there are so many more. Those are just a little tiny bit. Happy reading, Miss Amy.